Moving on to question nine. Now we have a question here that's dealing with solid of a revolution. Okay, so we're given this function here, f of x, which is equal to 2x to the power of a third plus x to the power of minus 2 over 3. And x must be positive. And it tells us that the finite region bounded by the curve y equals f of x, the line x equals 1 over 8, the x-axis and the line x is equal to 8. It's rotated through pi radians, uh, sorry, theta radians about the x-axis to form a solid of revolution. It tells what the volume is, so it's 461 over 2 units cubed, and we have to use algebraic integration to find the angle theta. So, this is quite late on into the paper, the penultimate question, and it's 8 marks, but as long as you're confident with integration, I don't think this question is too challenging. Okay, so let's write down the formula that we're going to need. So, we know that the volume V, well, that's going to be equal, so it's always pi lots of the integral. We know the limit straight away. We're told that it's between 1 over 8 and 8, so 1 over 8 would be my lower limit, my upper limit being 8. And we're integrating the function here, f of x. So it'll be f of x squared with respect to x. And then to find the angle, theta, uh, theta to which the, the region is rotated, well, I'm going to have to times this by theta over 2 pi. And remember, it's theta over 2 pi, not theta over 360, because we're working in radians for this question. And we know that they've told us here that this is equal to 461 over 2 units cubed. Okay, so we'll just say equal to 461 over 2. So, using that now, let's write this formula down again. So V will be equal to pi lots of the integral. So now, instead of f of x, I'm going to write out my actual f of x. So that's going to be 2x to the third plus x to the minus 2 over 3. This is all going to be squared with respect to x. And then again, times it by theta over 2 pi is equal to 461 over 2. So rather than do it underneath, to square this, again, it's just double bracket. It should be hopefully nice and easy. So I'll write out what this will be. So if you square this, plus x to the minus 2 over 3. Or this squared, this will give you 4x to the 2 over 3 plus 4x to the minus a third and then finally plus x to the minus 4 over 3 minus 4 over 3 okay so again we can rewrite this so for the first part of this question there's just a lot of getting this into the correct form to work with but it's a good step in maths to always get things in a much easier form to work with so 8 1 over 8 so rewriting this now, this will be 4x to 2 over 3 plus 4x to the third, minus a third even, plus four, uh, x, so let me just undo that one, plus x to the minus 4 over 3. Okay, that's dx, and again, we'll times it by via over 2 pi, this is equal to 461 over 2. Okay, so we've got something we can work with now. What I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna perform the integration now. So, if I perform the integration here, what I'll do is I'll just write everything out fully so um, everything's clear. But obviously, if you're confident at just simplifying everything straight away, you can just jump to that step. But for clarity, I'm gonna write everything out in full. Oops, sorry, so um, let me just undo that integral sign. So I'm gonna integrate now. Well, if you integrate here, Add 1 to the power of 4x to the 2 over 3, that would be adding 3 over 3 to it. So I'm going to get 4x to the 5 over 3. So it would be 4x to the 5 over 3. That's a 5. And then we divide it by 5 over 3, for example, right? Again, keep doing this with each term here. So your next one would be plus 4x to the 2 over 3. Just doing that for me, 2 over 3. And divide that by 2 over 3. And then your next one would be plus x to the minus a third divided by minus a third. Okay. That's between 8 and 1 eighth. And then we'd have to times this by theta over 2 pi again. We know that would be equal to 461 over 2. 
Okay, so again, let's just keep simplifying. Now at this point, um, we can actually just simplify. So I'll write out in full again. So you could just save time by just skipping ahead. Um, but I'm going to write everything out in full. So this will be 12 over 5. Uh, x to the 5 over 3. Plus 6x to the 2 over 3. And then finally, minus 3x. Minus 3x to the minus a third. And then this is between 8 and 1 eighth. And we've got to times this by theta over 2 pi. Okay, so if I do that now, what I'm going to get here is inside here, when I sub in both of these limits and perform the calculations, what I'm going to get is that this is theta times 4,149 4, over 40. So I've already pre-done the calculations. And then we've got to times this by theta over 2 pi. And we know this is going to be equal to 461 over 2. So now we just need to obtain theta. And well, to do that, I'm just going to have to simplify, right? So simplifying here now, I can times this, feet, um, this pi with this 4,149 over 40 here and then multiply across. And clearly these pi's are going to cancel. So what I'm going to get here is 4,149 theta divided by 2. So if, if you are got your 40 here and then we times it by something over 2, then I'm going to get 80 as my denominator here. And this is going to be equal to 461 over 2. So now I've got to times this by 80, this right-hand side. So if I do it all the way up here, so if I just change my pen colour so it's clear, yellow should be a nice colour for this. So I'm going to get 4,149 theta. That will be equal to 461 over 2 times 80. So that will be equal to 18,440. And now simply just to obtain theta, I've got to do 18,440 divided by 4,149. Do that in your calculator. And what you obtain is that theta is equal to 40 over 9 radians. And there we have it. So 40 over 9 is the angle theta for which the region is rotated. And that's question 9 fully complete.